Hi everybody, it's Mark again. Um, this video is for Alan Egan, one of my new uh, group members in my um, group that I took over for. This clock has got the cuckoo, the water wheel, and then the people here that dance. Uh, he's got one like this. Uh, he's having trouble uh, figuring out how to put it together. And so I'm going to do a video on this clock. This clock has got the one day AMS movement in it. It has a music box that is tripped by a lever up at the top and the spring that controls the hammer this this spring controls the hammer but it's connected to the high note lift bellow on a uh, a wire that comes off the uh, high note lift bellow and I don't know why they designed it that way but I am taking this clock apart because I've got some bellow repair that I need to do to it. So um, let's get to it. Here you should be able to see the uh, levers easier. Uh, the cuckoo arm is extremely long and that's what trips the music when the cuckoo as you can see the um, the arm is on the rear side of this wire so when the cuckoo goes out it pushes on this wire and when it comes back in it allows the music to play and there you can see the arm off the bellow that connects to the spring this is the first bellow that plays it's the high note lip bellow i take that back uh, it's because it's an ams movement yeah i was right hammer plays this bellow plays and then this bellow the rear bellow plays the rear bellow being the low note lift lever low note lift uh, bellow first bellow is the high high note bellow and it also has the wire that triggers the cuckoo to go up and down so uh i'm going to take the hands off i'm going to take the chains off I have other videos that show you how to do all that stuff, so um, I'm going to be pausing this video uh, to do some of this because you don't need to see this portion. I have other videos that show you how to do that, so I'm going to take the hands off, and I'm also going to disconnect the bird because in order to take the movement out yeah, the bird comes with it that, at least that's the way I do it so like I said I'm going to be pausing the video hands are off the bird's off next step is to take the clips off the chain so you can take the chains out you just uh, twist the uh, clips and uh, you can get the chains out. So uh, 
again, I'm not going to show you everything because uh, I have videos to uh, explain all that. Take a pair of pliers, hold on to the clip, uh, the link, one side of the link, twist the uh, part that the chain hooks onto, it opens up the link, comes off. Let me go ahead and do the rest of them. The next step is to take the bellows out. And there's a screw. And then there's a nail. And uh, by the way, this particular clock, the movement is in a position to where they have to use these links, these metal links, and not all of my holes have metal links, but the metal link is to help prevent the, uh, the chain from getting damaged. And like I said, this bellows got the, the um, spring on it, so I need to uh, take that off. And that spring connects to this hook. This bell is good, but the uh, other one needs repaired. So I'm going to go ahead and take that one out. As you can see, this bellow needs repaired. And always uh, use at least one rubber band to hold the wire wires onto the bellow. That way I know that wire goes to that bellow. Next step is to uh, undo the four screws to take the movement out. And the chain got stuck in there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, four screws to take the movement out. And there's another spring up there, and that spring is to bring the cuckoo back in the door. So you need to pay attention how that spring is connected. There's a, um, I lost my pointer. There's a wire right here that. The spring is connected to the spring is connected to the uh, bird post. So uh, be careful um, trying to figure that out. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and take the movement out and disconnect that spring off camera. Now that I have the movement loose, I could disconnect this screw right here. And loosen that screw to get that spring off. I'm going to disconnect it all the way, but remember, I have to put that spring back on this post and where it was in order for it to work right.
I thought it would be easier to loosen it up at this screw versus uh, taking it off from the wire post that it's on. I didn't want to tear up the wire post. Now I have to finish getting my chains out of here. Voila, the movement's out. I'm going to set that to the side. I get these chains out of this case. Set those to the side. Now we have to look at the um, that's why I use magnetic screwdrivers. We have to look at the music box itself and determine whether or not it needs cleaned. And I typically there are screws on the outside of the case here but not in this case and you have to determine you have to look at what makes the dancers go around in this case it looks like fishing line that goes over the uh the wheel on the music box which is also the wheel on the water wheel To me, that sounds good. I don't want to take the, the music box out at this point because it's, it seems to be running good. And honestly, I don't want to tear up this fishing line because that looks like that could be a pain putting back together. Like I said, there's a spring that, that is attached to the fishing line. Let me see if I could trip this again and see if you could see the spring. That way in case he needs to see that spring, And by the way, there are two holes in this music drum, meaning there's two different tunes. So this clock plays on both the hour and the half hour. Because it's a one day clock. I make it go a little bit farther. Okay, so now you can see that spring. It's running in between the wooden gear and the metal post there. I see if I can get a measurement for you. Stand by. My best guess is that spring is approximately two inches long. And that is extended. I don't have a, a tape that's small enough to go inside this case. And even if I did, my hands are too big. So, again, the cuckoo clock. The cuckoo, when he's activated, 
It's kind of like the Popo clocks. Every time he goes out the door, he trips the music. Popo cuckoo clocks are designed the exact same way. Every time the cuckoo bird goes out the door, it trips the music. I need to clean up on the inside of this case, but uh, I'm going to worry about the movement and the bellows. And by the way, according to the uh, book, AMS, uh, this AMS movement takes 375 grams of weight. So I would suggest to you that you take plenty of pictures and take the movement apart. Uh, take video as you go. Take plenty of pictures. I think I have another uh, video out there on the AMS movements and uh, not getting the cuckoo clock to shut up and stuff like that. So, um, um, this thing is dirty. When I add some weight to it, it doesn't. If I put a lot of pressure on it, it doesn't stop. It continues to go. It means it's dirty. I'm going to take it apart and clean it up and uh, repair the bellow. And then we'll get back to you after I do all that. Again, I have a video out there on uh, taking an AMS movement apart, putting it back together, so I'm not going to do that here. I just want to point out on this uh, music box, it's just like the other typical music boxes. There's this plastic sleeve right here, even though it's black. It stops the fan from rotating when it's done playing the music and there's a very good uh, video put out by uh, German clockmakers on what to do for the side mounted music boxes like this and they explain things a lot better uh, than what I do plus the lady is better looking than I am so uh, I'll try to put a link to that video in the description of this video and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but where that wooden dowel is there's a screw or a pen that connects to the uh, arbor on the uh, music box. Another reason why I do not want to take this music box out. And like I said, typically there's screws on the side of the case, but not in this case. You have screw here and a screw here, which will take this uh, music box out. Again, I'm not going to mess with it because if it's not broken, why fix it? But if you do have to take the music box out, you're going to have to also take this water wheel off which there's a screw right here to uh, take the water wheel off. And there is a tag on this clock which talks about the uh, uh, music, I believe, but there's a date, 1966 and 1967. I would say that is pretty well when this clock was made in that time frame. 
Now I got the uh, movement back together. I want to say when you're putting these clocks together, you want to make sure that the rack tab, let's say for the one o'clock position, is to the far right when it strikes the one o'clock because let's say you put it in to where it's uh, over here to the left of this tab this is one o'clock position by the way two o'clock three o'clock four o'clock five etc would say when you put it together that this tab is in the middle or to the left of the one o'clock position by the time it gets all the way over in this area it's going to be cuckooing wrong especially on the 12 o'clock position and i always always do a function test to make sure the clock is working going all the way around I gotta keep my big fingers out of the way Anyway, do a function test to make sure that it is working all the way around on both the hour and the half hour. It's hard for me to do this on a camera and to show you what's going on. This would be the hour coming up. Let me do that again so you can see it. Bird comes out. And he goes back in. I do that again so you can see it from the side. Bird comes out and he goes back in. Once he comes back in, the um, <clears throat> the music is tripped. Also, when it's done playing, a few things has to happen. This round tab here on what's called the lift lock lever the lift lock lever I've got a video out that talks about parts of the clock and whether it's an AMS movement or a regular movement or a herb or herb movement they're basically for the most part the same uh, they have the same parts they might be different uh, made differently but the um, when it's done playing the rack stop lever tab goes into what's called the gathering cam with gathering pen and this has got a wire on it which is the gathering pen it goes into the mouth of what I call the Pac-Man the third wheel warning pin which is a pin, uh, wheel right next to the fly wheel on the strike side it is touching the tab right here on the rack stop lever. And so um, if your clock continues to cuckoo, it's because this tab is not going into the uh, 
gathering cam with gathering pin. The third wheel warning pin is not hitting this tab. Or in this case, this is not functioning properly to allow the cuckoo to stop. The AMS movements have got this lever right here on it. So here, one more thing could be happening too. The gathering pen might be bent too far to the right, which is not lifting up the rack. This being the rack right here that I'm moving. And on the uh, regular clocks, it's got the spring that holds down the uh, rack stop lever. And let me get a regular clock so I can discuss this real fast. Stand by. I've got a video out, but because I touched the subject, I want to talk about it. This is a regular 25 one day movement. You got this wire right here that holds down the rack's uh, stop lever. If this wire is loose, it's not pushing down the rack stop lever and therefore it could be causing your rack stop lever to bounce out of the gathering cam with gathering pen or what I like to call Pac-Man. So especially on the 12 o'clock position, you might have to tighten this wire up. And the way you do that, you take this off, you wrap it around this pen some more, and then you put it back on the rack stop lever. Just put another um, coil in the spring is what I'm getting at. So anyway, I'm going to put this movement back in the clock. And then... Um, We'll come back to you. I thought the camera was going, but we're going to talk about this again. I got the um, uh, a bellow repaired. Uh, I got a video on how to uh, to uh, repair the bellows. Um, if you're a subscriber to my channel. You could find the videos a lot faster. If you subscribe to anybody's channel, once you're a subscriber, if you search for the word bellow, it's going to bring up every video that that person has with the word bellow in the name of their videos. So that's the benefit of subscribing to my channel or anybody's channel. So anyway, I'm going to put this movement back in this clock along with the bellows and we'll get back to you. I got the uh, movement in. Working on the uh, bellows. When you put this spring into place, remember the bellow that goes on this side the spring has to be low enough so the bellow that goes on this side doesn't interfere with the spring. We're at 30 minutes. I'm sorry, I don't feel good. I I have a lot of back issues. And uh, anyway, this video will be a two-part video and uh, I get a lot of people that complain that my videos are short 
even when I post long videos, YouTube tells me the average duration that somebody watches my videos. The average duration is five minutes. So for those people who have a problem with my videos, make your own. And uh, again, I have a lot of back issues. And I told the guy that it depends on how I feel, whether I'll make a video today or next week or next month. Anyway, I'm going to post this. I think it's going to help him out. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully, if I feel okay, I'll finish it tomorrow. May God bless each and every one of you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free to do so. Don't cost you a thing. Thanks.